another day, another time to watch your My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episode. But you know what? I think today is going to be a spectacular day. Well, it all depends on how it looks outside. Ah. Uh, oh. 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 Oh my. Oh. 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 <laughs> now, uh, where was I? <laughs> Winter wrap up. One might say that this episode was made at the last minute to cash in as a Christmas related episode or just a holiday episode in general. Well, another one might say that this is one of the best episodes to be ever conceived into the show. I mean, it has its creative animation, its cute humor, a very believable moral, and of course its title song number, which I don't think needs to be uh, summed up at this point, but. You know, at first, going into this, I went with the former. Simply because that, compared to how some later episodes play out, this seems completely out of order. Or unnecessary, even. Not to mention that there are a few personal issues that I have with the story. But, really, when all's said and done, does that really ruin this hard-working holiday for every pony? Well, let me explain. My side and my personal reasonings of Winter Wrap-Up. So we start off with Twilight Sparkle getting amped up for a tradition in Ponyville called Winter Wrap-Up, where every pony is assigned to a certain task that he or she is good at, in order to bring in spring at the right time. Being Twilight, she's really as excited as I would be if an announcement for a new Muse album came out. <laughs> I'd be giggling and screaming and pounding the wall just for it to come out sooner. <laughs> That's basically Twilight with Winter Wrap-Up. <laughs> but understandably so, she's also very worried. Oh, Spike! I, I wonder what I can do to bring in Spring! Winter Wrap-Up, Winter Wrap-Up, let's finish our holiday cheer. As I was saying, what can I do to bring Spring in on time, Spike? <sighs> And so, Twilight begins her search for the right job in order to help out with the whole thing. Um, why not organizing? I mean, I know every pony has it covered, the song said it all. Yeah, 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 I get it, but don't these guys, ponies, need a bookkeeper or something? You know, to mark down every job that's done? It will make more sense that way! And also, then they'll know what to do! How and why? Guess not. Seeing as how we have the first two acts, count them, the first two acts of this whole episode just <laughs> doing the exact opposite. But let's be more accurate about this. This is what I would like to call filling time while entertaining you. What do I mean by this? <laughs> well, it really needs no explaining, really. It can't be explaining words. I think earlier episodes explain the whole thing for you, like the Ticketmaster has been guilty of this, Ghostbusters, even both parts of the series premiere filled in as much of this entertaining obviousness as possible. I mean, those two episodes, they're needed with the morals of friendship and developing character. I don't mind that. I just question the irrelevance of the other episodes and this one included. We know what's gonna happen. Twilight will fail at every job. She'll try to do her best altogether, but her friends will make her feel ashamed. Not because only that this is her first winter wrap up in Ponyville, but this was never getting any proper introduction beforehand. Twilight wasn't getting anything. Heck, she was the only one not wearing a team coat at the beginning. So why waste our time and maybe even break our hearts by doing this? Hello, 
intelligence would be most appreciated. But hey, the entertaining obviousness is entertaining, so let me lighten up the situation with all this predictable hilarity. Hey, Rainbow Dash, can I have four Melina clowns? What's that? I can't hear you over my awesome flying scales. Better not next year. <laughs> More like in season four. Jerk. There you go, Rowdy, a home for all the birds coming home from the south. Mm, my dear, you've only built one nest. As a pony manure. Say, Pinkie Pie, do you need any help clearing away the ice? That depends. Can you help rip off that one scene from Bambi with me? Play what? Thanks, Twilight. You're so useless. doesn't count as an answer. <laughs> yeah. That obvious. And kind of cruel when you think about it as well. I mean, does Twilight look like the kind of pony who knows what to do for a winter wrap-up? Wrap Shut up! The song number isn't helping! Good Luna character model change! When I crush some pony spirit both mentally and emotionally by saying Oh, you're no good at anything except that one thing that's obvious to every pony else, but you know what? You're a horrible filly though anyway! I mean, what kind of friend says something so mean-spirited and still look like they're in the right? I mean, I'm not gonna argue what Twilight was trying to do was right. She could have acted better on her part, but at least she was trying to help. You can at least admire the fact that she wants to help out. I mean, but every other pony is making it feel like she's useless. Not capable of doing anything at all. I don't know what you're thinking. Oh, they'll get over it. Well, I wish just laugh about this the next day. <laughs> well, maybe. But that one instant moment will leave a mental scar for the rest of her life. I have no doubt about that. I mean, they can... Be happy all they want. I mean, the galloping gala, new foes coming their way, a royal wedding, Twilight becoming princess. Yeah, good for you. I mean, make the best of that while you can. That is an awesome achievement. But I am willing to wager that whenever Twilight is alone with her thoughts and she thinks about this moment for one little second, that one mess up that was so horrible and really broke her down so unanimously terribly, yeah, she'll instantly become depressed. And she'll realize that she'll have to live with that memory for the rest of her life. But then she'll invite some pony over the tea or something and they'll be having a... Yeah, <laughs> eh, sorry guys. I know this, this sounds harsh and everything and I'm sorry to drag on a subject matter like this, but I believe that's true. Say... Take me, for example, one one whole day of acting horrible to people for no reason other than the fact that I did. And people really disciplined me back. That's probably why I want to be so good-natured in the first place, because I don't want to be that person again. And though I want to be happy, that memory is going to mess me up for the rest of my life, because that's who I was for only one day. But with that said, I have no doubt that there are awesome times ahead for not just me, but for everyone else and that amazing people will come into your life that can completely help you forget 
But please, you know, be awesome and amazing, guys, because it's all you can do. And really, that's all we'd want and like to do. My name is Sweet Tooth, and I am a victim of mind rape. That's right, I still have to look over this episode, don't I? <laughs> Silly me. Back to the cuteness. Every pony isn't getting everything done to get spring come to the land on time, and they all get in a big argument. Oh, gee, I wonder if this will encourage Twilight to leave her mental depression for one day, and gee, I don't know, go organize everything! Yay! She does! She does! She saves the day with her smarts, which, quite frankly, she should have done, or at least have the mayor assign her for the position. Second freaking one, but if they did, and uh, even have one brain cell that isn't relating to anything smart. We wouldn't have a friendship report! The first thing is that learning that everyone has hidden talents. And if they're patient and diligent, they will find them. Yes. I believe that to be true. <laughs> Even for when the time comes, everything will be up in the poop! And also we learn that everyone can accomplish anything when they work together and treat each other as friends. Yes, when your friends aren't bringing you down, when what you can't do, you know, and then, and then they're being a jerk. It, your physical pain and making you the victim when you didn't know as well as them being the person they claim to be bad. All that! I agree. I mean, I really admire the creativity with this holiday where you work hard to bring in something new and even the song here has a good beat to it. Winter, winter. <laughs> but everything else relating to the story and all that, I can't get behind, seriously! I mean, the whole beating down on Twilight thing, that really brings this episode down for me. And I'm just really disappointed that I don't like this episode more than I should. Maybe I am overthinking on the negative and that I'm just a real jerk for bringing you guys down. And that maybe there is something more for this episode that people love. But, seriously, I'm not a fan. And the most awkward and depressing thing about this whole episode, not just from the actual friendship is medic standpoint, but the whole explaining magic standpoint, and all that come together, the most awful thing to think about all that is... How can I, uh, win you guys back after I, uh, bashed one of your favorite episodes, huh? I mean, maybe if I tied this into the next episode, maybe it'll all be fine. I'm gonna think about that. Until then, I'm gonna grab me some snowballs. on my poop wounds. Oh, God. <laughs>